Oh, if, if you looked at the timer in the top uh, left, uh, only a couple seconds passed from uh, when I left. So, uh, I guess, I guess we're uh, back. And that's uh, good, I guess. So, the way I'm doing this right now is I'm trying to uh, cut every uh, 20 minutes or so. So uh, when the timer at the top left hits 40 minutes, I will probably make another cut. So uh, back on track here, uh, as you remember, or you may not remember, this is uh, Sky Factory 2, I believe that's what it's called. And I'm just uh, enjoying a peek over this uh, abyss below me. Just having a gander at it. Perhaps I should pick up my torch. No, that doesn't help at all. I'll put it back. Uh, just hoping that this tree grows sometime. Uh, if there's a problem that's not making the tree grow, please do tell me, because I want to know. Is this torch too close? Uh, is there some sort of issue that I need to know about? Is the crafting table's adjacency to it a problem? In fact, I think I'll use my last block of something. And to move a torch. Perhaps that'll help. It uh, reduces the illumination on the tree, but I think it's still pretty good. Uh, just looking up at the night sky. Or, I just realized, perhaps, I should do this based on uh, each day. I should make a video on each day, because each day is, what, 20-something minutes, according to the timer. Uh, so, I, I didn't realize that first, but the timer apparently counts uh, the amount of time in the day, I believe. So... That's uh, interesting, I guess. An interesting start to a video, or an interesting end to a series. Uh, I'm just uh, saying random things, because I really don't have anything to say. So uh, perhaps I should uh, look at this uh, world domination with open blocks, you can see. Ah, very nice. Is these tabs? Ah, these are tabs. Okay. So, it says, oh, the... Uh, Developers of open blocks and various stuff. Uh huh. Can make a number of blocks. Elevators is pretty good uh, if you get your hands on Ender Pearls, which uh, in Skyblock are quite a hassle. Sprinklers, iron, also a hassle in Skyblock. Um, paint mixer. Interesting. Bear traps, uh, I guess those are useful. Perhaps I should use those. Do those work on Endermen? That's a question. Uh, I probably won't be making those in any episode soon, so feel free to comment. Do bear traps work on Endermen? So, uh, I probably, if you make a comment on this, I will probably see the comment before I will make a bear trap. But uh, just in case, uh, building guides, uh, I've seen those used before. Uh, I probably won't need one though. Canvas, nice, uh, nice stuff. Vacuum hopper, uh, sucks up items and XP orbs around it. Interesting. Tank, hold liquids. Uh, they'll distribute liquids between tanks. But I probably won't need a tank. Oh, it can actually contain XP. And I can click on them with an empty hand to give myself XP. Nice to know, I suppose. Got a path. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> probably won't need that. Fans. 
uh, could be good for uh, mob grinders. Block breakers, block placers. This is actually pretty good. Um, although I'm pretty sure there might, in one of the mods in this mod pack, there might be cheaper ways to do that. Block placer, uh, also nice. Dropper, big button. Can't think of any reason I would need that. Auto anvil. Okay. Also enchantment table. Sponge. Okay. Yeah. Rope ladder. Interesting. All right. A village highlighter. Don't need that because I don't think I'll encounter any villages, to be honest. I mean, it'd be nice if I did. Perhaps there's a way to make villagers. Uh, XP drain. Drawing table. Skyblock. XP shower. Items. Got the luggage. I've made the luggage before uh, on single player doing other stuff. And it's amazing. Uh... I think it's pretty nice. Sonic glasses, hang glider, always good to have, very useful. Cursor, uh, okay. Unprepared stencil, okay, um, all right sleeping bag now this is amazing i i love the sleeping bag you just take a sleeping bag and you can sleep anywhere and skip the night uh on single player on multiplayer uh there's not a real point to having a sleeping bag unless somebody wants you to sleep at some point to skip the night but a lot of times on multiplayer that won't happen uh okay So that's an uh, interesting function, if you read that. Uh, okay, squeegee animals. Uh, uh, no. Still hasn't grown. Well, what will they doodly do? What am I supposed to do about this? I, I can't think of anything. It's just this tree that just will not grow. The tree that did not grow. Okay, uh, materials in you. Um, Tinker's Construct. I have done Tinker's Construct before a little bit. Uh, I've never been too good at it. Never gotten too deep into it. But, uh, actually I have, now that I think of it. But I did it using, uh, I didn't make the smeltery, I just used high tier items that did not require the smeltery to make my stuff. And it was pretty good. Uh, made an amazing thing with some add-on mods that allow you to use electricity and stuff. Ooh, double jump. Interesting. Jump during jumping to jump can be applied to wings as well. Single use. All right. Auto repair. Yeah, I love auto repair. It's pretty good. Uh, probably will have problems getting moss in this pack. Um, So uh, let's uh, see, uh, Mossy, let's get some, uh, I'm not getting anything, don't worry, I'm not going to cheat, uh, I, I don't like cheating, cheating's not fun really, it's not fun to watch, I know that, it uh, bothers me a lot when I watch people cheating, because, you know, it's just not the best thing to do, you know, you could, uh, Okay. Moss stone. Alright. 
essence of nature. Not the easiest to acquire in this mod pack, but still pretty good. Water bucket wheat, that's actually an interesting way. Fluid transposer, gotta love the fluid transposer. Uh, take some resources to make valves, so. Yeah. The tree, my goodness, that tree. Come on, grow, I tell you, grow. I'm about to run out of stuff to read. Uh, oh snap, I, I accidentally walked backwards there. Um, so uh, tell me in the comment section, is this entertaining? Do you find this entertaining watching somebody sit around a tree, just staring at it, hoping that it'll grow someday? I mean, not my idea of quality entertainment, if you ask me. Probably not yours either, to be honest. So, uh, why won't it grow? Usually trees grow by now. I guess I'll just have to, uh, blab about stuff. So, uh, let's see. Let me see if I can go AFK and uh, get you some news. All right. You want some news? I'll give you some news. Okay, so using inventory, uh, using the inventory screen, I can go AFK. Um, just uh, checking if it works. Uh, just uh, checking if AFK is working. AFK does seem to be working. Things are still running. Uh, okay, going AFK now. All right, let's see uh, what's on the news today. Let's uh, take a look at the news. Got a lot of news. Uh, let's see. Now, this will automatically date this video as to when it was made. Um, let's see. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see news about the world. I'm I'm looking at Google News. Uh, Twenty-two people killed outside Cairo soccer stadium. Uh, 22 people were killed outside an Egyptian soccer stadium on Sunday when security forces barred fans from entering, the public prosecutor's office said. All right. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, the U.S. Goldilocks, Goldilocks strategy toward ISIS. All right. Let's... Uh, see what this says it uh, says uh, President Obama is tiptoeing carefully through the minefield in that the Islamic State of Iraq and greater Syria so far he has been sure-footed if tentative but one false step could mortally wound the final two years of his time in office all right so immediately Instead of going to the actual events, they immediately, first paragraph, went straight to the politics. I mean, it's news. Aren't you supposed to, uh, news first and then politics? You know? I mean, you can be political while telling your news. I mean, I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. But how about you actually say what the news are before immediately pulling in the politics? As in, you... You find an event, all right, and you say, this is the event that happened, okay, and this is how we interpret it politically, okay? You don't say, well, politically, this is how we interpret it. Oh, wait, yeah, I remember, this is the event that happened. You see, it, it's a backwards logic um, that they're using. Um, so, of course, uh, things are different based on different things. Um, so... What else can I look at in the uh, Google News? 
Google News, to be honest, uh, not the best. I gotta say. Um, so let's uh, let's find out some other stuff. Uh huh. Uh, oh, wow. I, I just looked at uh, www.dw.de, um, the Deutsche Welle website, I believe. And, you know, I think the news are better here than on Google News, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the headlines. E Egypt. Egypt, soccer riot leaves many dead. Okay, seen that already. Australian PM, that's Prime Minister, survives vote of confidence. Okay. Leaders aim for Normandy-style attack, Ukraine summit. Okay. It, oh, that's actually quite interesting. Uh, the leaders of Germany, France, Russia, and Ukraine are hoping to meet this week to discuss the crisis in eastern Ukraine. This follows a last-ditch German-French push to end the bloodshed. Angela Merkel's spokesman uh, Stefan Seibert said in a statement that the Chancellor and Presidents Francois Hollande, Vladimir Putin, and Petro Poroshenko had agreed to aim for a Wednesday meeting in Minsk during a conference all call on Sunday. In the call, they worked further on a package of measures in the context of their efforts on a comprehensive settlement in the conflict in eastern Ukraine, the statement said. All right. Um, my opinion on the Ukraine conflict, to be honest, uh, is a varied opinion. Oh, my goodness. The tree grew. The tree grew. Oh, yes. The tree grew. Oh, I, I just uh, looked back. And uh, enough politics for now. Uh, back to the game. <laughs> um, uh and it's not just a regular tree, it's a big tree. Gotta love a big tree. Alright. So uh, immediately chop some leaves. Avagander at those leaves. Avagander. Why am I talking in such a strange accent? You know? Strange accent, don't you know? Just uh I'm not racist if if you're wondering. Uh, and honestly, I don't support people who are racist. I mean, I don't think that's something that's uh, worthwhile supporting. I mean, if you support it, well, that's your problem, to be honest. I mean, uh, in my country, it's okay to be... Well, actually, a lot of people say it's not. But it, it is technically legal to be racist, but... Uh, it's just one of those things that if you just go out and you say, ho, ho, I'm racist, people will just immediately hate you because people are just haters. People hate racist people. It's just weird. I know it's a sort of slightly hip hip hypocrisy there, but uh, people hate racists because the racists hate them. So uh, to be honest, don't hate people. Don't, don't go around hating people. Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't judge uh, people's actions, because you should. Because sometimes people make bad choices. And you know what? You gotta tell someone if you're making a bad choice. It's the friendly thing to do. If I'm your friend, alright, and I tell you, you've made a bad choice, then I, I, I to be honest, think I'm being a good friend. Now, of course, uh, you might disagree, and that's fine. You can disagree all you like, but a friend tells you when you're wrong. It's just the friendly thing to do. All right, another sapling for the barrel. We're over over fifty percent. Um, if you're wondering what the barrel's for, if I haven't explained that, the barrel is to collect dirt. And dirt is to make more places to plant trees. And trees are really important. 
in Minecraft at least. I mean, in, in the real world, they're important too, but not as important as some other things, you know? You know what I'm saying? Or perhaps you don't. You know, sometimes people don't understand what you're saying, and that's fine. You don't always have to be understood by everyone. But being understood by everyone is an advantage, however, in life. So try to be understandable. Don't be incoherent. Incoherence is uh, not a virtue, to be honest. I mean, sometimes you can't help it, which in, in that case, that's okay. If if you uh, if you have a speech impairment, uh, it's it's, uh, it's not something to uh, shame people over, because speech impairments are a serious issue, and some people have them, some people don't. And you know what? That's fine. I mean, I'm not saying people should have speech impairments. That's certainly not what I'm saying. Because what a cruel person I would be to say that. I'm saying that I won't attack you if you have a speech impairment. I won't uh, go around. I won't go around uh, saying nasty things about people with speech impairments. It's just one of those things I won't do. I need to make another crook, perhaps two. Actually, I'll, I'll make two. Um, so, oops, didn't actually make the crooks. Let's uh, make some crooks. Of course, uh, don't be a crook. And uh, I think that's my... Uh, line today. Don't be a crook. See you next time on the Skyblock.